Hi, Mike McElroy here. Welcome to the video quick start guide for the Sequoia. We're going to go through the basic modes and functionality today, so you'll be able to sit down on the Sequoia and work your way all the way through an exam. Okay, we're going to start by beginning an exam. We'll hit the begin end button. We'll type in the patient name. Now in the system, there are also soft keys that correspond to what the trackball can do as well. And there, the soft keys are across the bottom of the screen. Here we have restart list, begin imaging. So I'm just going to select begin imaging. And now we're live imaging. Now let's go through the main controls. Trackball and select keys. Freeze and run and also scroll. So at any point you can freeze an image just by hitting the freeze run button and then you can scroll back. If you want to see it live, you press Cine and then it will run through your Beats Live. And if you want to store that image, image store is right on the right of the trackball and the freeze knob and then it will store the image for you. We'll turn off Cine and we'll be back to live imaging. On the right side of the control panel, we have our TGCs, 2D gain, depth, transmit position, dynamic range. So first thing I'm going to do here is increase the depth. And then I can adjust the gain quite simply. If I freeze, I can scroll through the image or I could hit City and it will run live. I can slow it down with the dial as well. And I can press the Gain Freeze Run knob and then it will freeze the image again. Also on the touch screen or on the soft keys we can touch Run Stop normal speed and we can increase or decrease the speed here as well just as we did with the knob down below. And once we have frozen the image we can set the left and set the right. Set the start and set the end. So we can set left. I'll go to this beat by using the scroll knob and then I'll move over to the next QRS set right and then we can run stop and now we're looking at just the one beat. So we'll turn off Cine and we'll go back to our live scanning. On the left side of the screen we can see the caret for transmit. We can move that up and down quite simply. We'll adjust the dynamic range up and down this way. And when we, you notice on the screen, as we're adjusting one of those parameters, it turns blue. Now in this image, since it's really a very narrow field of view, we might want to select the image width, which is here, and that will allow us to select the width of the image. And we can use our trackball and change between position and width. 